Was the joke that bad? I'm gonna kill you. I didn't quite catch that. You're gonna have to speak up. Not today. Not tomorrow. But I'm gonna kill you. Simon. What do you have? A knife? Yeah, a hatchet. A hatchet? And an axe. Simon's my right-hand man. Having one of those is important. I mean, what do you have left without him? A whole lot of work. You have one? Maybe one of these fine people still breathing? Oh. Or did I... <sighs> sure, yeah. Give me his axe. I'll be right back. Mr. Brick will be with me. If not... Well, we can just turn these people inside out, won't we? I mean, the ones that are left. What a piece of shit. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> are you kidding me? Did you see what just happened, what I just did? You just... <sighs> Your best chance is to stand up Grab that axe and drive it through the back of my head. Keep acting tough. Go ahead. Grab the damn axe. It's a brand new day, Rick. I want you to think about what could have happened. Think about what happened. And think about what can still happen. You are mine. The people back there, they are mine. This, this is mine. Hey, Rick. Go get my axe. Let's be friends. Get my axe. But you thought you were all going to grow old together. Sitting around the table at Sunday dinner and the happily ever after. No. Doesn't work like that, Rick. Not anymore. Think about what happened. Anybody moves, anybody says anything, cut the boy's other eye out, feed it to his father, and then we'll start. You can breathe, you can blink, you can cry. Hell, you're all gonna be doing that. Oh, look at that! Taking it like a champ! one's free. Then what I say? I said I will shut that shit down. No exceptions. Now, I don't know what kind of lying assholes you've been dealing with, but I'm a man of my word. 
First impressions are important. I need you to know me. So, back to it. Buddy, you still there? I don't know. It seems like you're trying to speak. But you just took a hell of a hit. No exception. You bunch of pussies. I'm just getting started. Oh boy. This must be hard for you, right? I mean, you have been king shit for so long. Losing two of your own, like getting them clipped like that, one nut, then the other, and in front of your boy. That is some screwed up shit. Charge. Hell, you were probably addicted to it. And now, well, clip, clip, that's over. But you can still lead a nice, productive life producing for me. I think you're gonna need it. I just got a feeling, so take it. Here we are. Let me ask you something, Rick. You even know what that little trip was about? Speak when you're spoken to. Okay, okay. That trip was about the way that you looked at me. I wanted to change that. I wanted you to understand. But you're still looking at me the same damn way. Like I shit in your scrambled eggs, and that's not going to work. So, do I give you another chance? Yeah, just... Okay. All right. And here it is. The grand prize game. What you do next will decide whether your crap day becomes everyone's last crap day or just another crap day. Get some guns to the back of their heads. Good. Now, yeah. level with their noses so you have to fire. <laughs> It'll be a real mess, kid. Right here. Kid. Now. Your cell phone? My what? You left. No. Good. All right. Get down on the ground, kid. Next to daddy. Spread them wings. Please. Please. Please talk. Please talk. I ain't doing shit. Uh, Rick, I want you to take your axe. Cut your son's left arm off. Yeah, I know. I know. You gotta have to process that for a second. That makes sense. Still, though, I'm gonna need you to do it. Or all these people are gonna die. Then Carl dies. Then the people back home die. And then you. Eventually. I'm gonna keep you breathing for a few years just so you can stew on it. You, you don't have to do this. We understand. We understand. You understand? Yeah. I'm not sure that Rick does. I want to need a clean cut. Now, I know this is a screwed up thing to ask, but it's going to have to be like a salami slice. Nothing messy, clean, 45 degrees. Give us something to fold over. We got a great doctor. The kid will be fine, probably. Rick, this needs to happen now. Chop, chop. Or I will crush the little fella's skull myself. It can, it can be me. It can be me. You can do it to me. I, I can go with with you. No, this is the only way. Not making a decision is a big decision. You really want to see all these people die? You will. You will see every ugly thing. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, Are you going to make me count? Uh, okay, Rick. You win. I am counting. Three! Please. It could be finished. Please. Two! Please. You 
answer to me. You provide for me. You belong to me. Right? Speak what you were spoken to! You answer to me. You provide for me. I provide for you. You belong to me. Right! Right. That is the look I wanted to see. We did it. All of us. Together. Today was a productive damn day. Now I hope, for all your sake, that you get it now. That you understand how things work. Things have changed. Whatever you had going for you, that is over now. Ah, uh, Dwight, load him up. He's got guts. Not a little bitch like someone I know. I like him. He's mine now. But you still want to try something? Not today, not tomorrow. Not today, not tomorrow. I will cut pieces off of... Hell's his name? Mike Tyson. Wow. That actually sounds right. I will cut pieces off and put them on your doorstep. Or, better yet, I will bring him to you and have you do it for me. Ah, welcome to a brand new beginning, you sorry shits. I'm going to leave you a truck. Keep it. Use it to cart all the crap you're going to find me. We'll be back for our first offering in one week. Until then, ta-ta.